Hello everyone, this is my brand new Lego Mark car hauler. Now I've spent a long time working on this Mark. Of course it comes in two parts, you've got the semi truck which is putting the trailer and of course the trailer. Now the trailer can fit two eight wide cars and three six wide cars depending on how long they are. Now as, as of right now we have the Jaguar I-Pace on the back. That just shows off really how big it is on the trailer. The trailer is a ten wide build. The semi truck is a nine, nine wide base and the cab is an eight wide. It is a Freightliner Cascadia. The same type as the box truck mock, although this one is a bit higher. Now starting off with the Freightliner truck, as I just mentioned now, it is a nine wide base and the cab is an eight wide. We've got the giant towing mirrors and we've got some mirrors on the front. The grille is black, as this is an all black appearance package. We have the five clearance lights on the roof, which looks quite nice. We have some orange reflectors in the headlights. The headlights are those one by one slope pieces. The bumper is also black. If we turn it upside down, you can see how it is connected. Now the interior of the truck, there isn't much of an, uh, of an interior. And the roof does come off. And there is some space inside for two minifigures. The doors do not open unfortunately, but there is a round one by one, as you can see, that acts as like the door handle. The fuel tanks are also black, of course, however, the only sort of chrome, apart from the mirrors, is the side step. We have four wheels at the back, this is the long chassis, and on the back we have the brake lights with a number plate in the middle. There are also two windows at the back for the driver to have a look out the back if he needs to. And if we turn it this way, you can see just how long this truck is. It's very big. And if we stand a minifigure next to it, you will see, again, the minifigure is quite small. And if we turn it around this way, again, the minifigure is very, very short but it is to scale just about of course the lego city trucks are six studs wide they're a bit too small so i make these custom trucks so that's pretty much it for the semi truck now let's move on to the trailer now this is a very very long trailer i can't really have it sideways in the shot because it is too long so it's gonna have to be sort of vertical here now it is sloped part of it on the second half, it goes down. Now this is sort of based on one of those American car holder trailers. Of course, we've got the white and red sort of reflective stickers going down the side. They're not stickers, but they are one by one studs. It's also the same down the bottom. We do have some supports in between to make it sort of stru st structurally integral. Of course, it would completely break if it didn't have these Technic beams. Now for the cars to drive on, we have the 1x2 grille pieces, that's sort of like how it looks in real life I guess. If I used too many smooth pieces, it would look too shiny. So let's see how many cars we can fit on this. We'll start with the 8 stud wides. As I said, it is 2 but maybe. Now we're going to see how many cars we can fit on. Of course I said for the 8 stud wides, it is 2 cars. We'll see how that looks. So here's one of the Jaguar eye pieces and I will get another truck. There we go. So it easily fits on two uh, eight wides. As you can see, there is space in the middle and you can tie down these cars using some chains or stri string pieces. But yeah, it looks pretty nice on there. It's a good color scheme, I think, for the trailer. So now let's have a look how many we can fit on with the six stud wide cars. All right, so I've got some six wide cars here. This is the first one that just about fits on. Here's the second one, a taxi. And the third one, which usually fits on, is this truck. As you can see, they do fit on. That's gonna roll down a bit. If I put it there, and that one, in fact, if I put that one at the back, the truck in the middle, there we go. You can fit 
Just about three six wide cars. There we go, very nice. Not only can you transport cars, you can also put other things on. Maybe a shipping container, which I showed off in the last video. Maybe you can put, uh, put on another trailer. Here we go, this little trailer here. So yeah, it's not just for cars, you can fit pretty much anything on it. It's based for cars, but you can put what you want on it. It is, of course, a very large trailer, so there's plenty of space for whatever you want, really. Now, the only problem with this truck is, of course, even though I've got these giant roads, maneuvering this truck around the corner is still very difficult. You've got to bring it right to the edge and turn it, maybe reverse a bit. And after, even after all that, as you can see, it still catches the curb, which is a bit disappointing. But still, it does a pretty good job of getting around that corner. So yeah, it's not too bad. That's pretty much it for this mock. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun building this and designing it. Um, I designed this on Bricklink Studio. And ordered the parts on Bricklink. So yeah, if you did enjoy, stick around. There's more to come in the future. Um, I've got an ambulance I'm working on right now. On the LEGO Super Duty um, chassis base and maybe an electric truck coming soon and um, yeah some more city updates as well coming soon so yeah thank you for watching and goodbye